KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone and good evening. This is Drishti Batra from KP classes and welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you must already be aware that all the three SPAs that is Delhi, Bhopal and Vijayawada from this year onwards are going to conduct a common entrance exam, entrance procedure, so, which will be called as JAAPPG that is Joint Admission for Architecture and Planning. If you have not already gone through the details of this, you can check out our video on our YouTube channel which shows all the details with respect to the procedure that you need to know. Now, in today's video, what we are going to do is, we are going to check the entire process of registration into JAAP. So, let's begin. First of all, go to their official website that is jaappg.admissions.com nic.in okay after this you have to go to the candidate activity board and then click on you online registration for jaap pg once you've clicked on that you'll be redirected to a page uh, which is shown on your screens now if you are registering for the first time you will have to click on fresh candidate registration if you have already attempted registration into this then you have to fill in the details given so i am going to continue with uh, the beginning that is fresh candidate registration you click on this uh, button then terms and conditions are given in detail and please do read this very carefully okay once you've done that you have to click on i agree and move ahead next the first detail uh, the first set of details that you have to fill uh, for jaap is personal details for this you have to fill in the candidate name mother's name gender in which you'll get options as uh, male female and other then you have to fill in father's name date of birth in the form of day month and year and then you have to uh, give a proof of identity this could be your voter's id your uh, uh, Aadhaar card, your passport, etc. So, you have to choose that from the drop down menu over here, and then whatever you've chosen, the respective identity number you'll have to give. For example, if you've chosen Aadhaar card, you'll have to give your Aadhaar number over here. Once you are done with this, you have to give your contact details. Now, for contact details, your ISD code that is India, that is 91, has already been given. So, you need not change that. What you have to do is you have to give a 10 digit number over here. After that, you have to give your email ID. Now, choose your mobile number and mail ID very carefully if you have multiple. Uh, on this number and mail ID, you will get all the OTPs and all the updates regarding to the entire procedure till the end of the uh, admission process. So, choose this very carefully. Next, once you are done uh, giving all the details, you will be asked to set a password. In the password, you have to make sure that there is one capital letter at least. There is one uh, special symbol. And there is one number. Now, ideally, this uh, password that you are creating should be between 8 to 12 characteristics. Then, once you are done with all of this, you have to click on Submit and Next. Now, after this, whatever number you have uh, given and whatever mail ID you have given, on that you will get OTP. So, uh, you can either choose to give the OTP of mobile number or email ID. It is okay if you uh, give both. After which, you will have to type in the security pin over here. Once you are done with the entire process, you have to click on verify and final submit. After verification and final submission at that stage, you will get an application number. Okay, here is your application number, which will start with 25. Now, this is the application number that you will have to put in while, uh, you know, if at any stage in the further uh, registration, if at any stage you get stuck and you have to close the window for now maybe and, uh, you know, again you have to uh, resume your registration tomorrow, for example, you'll have to go to the first page that we talked about, this one, okay. Here, the application number that has been given to you, you will have to put that the password that you have created and the pin that will be given to you, okay? After that, you can sign in and continue with your registration. Now, 
let's uh, move on where we left out in the registration process. Once you've filled all these details about your personal details and the contact numbers, after that, you will get a page showing your details of the application form. You have to go through once. You have to like check if there is any mistake, any spelling mistake or anything if you want to change in the uh, application form. Once you are done with that, you have to fill in more uh, details. For example, nationality, you'll have to fill in your category. And then subcategory details may you'll have to give a person with benchmark disability, if any, you have to like, this is a yes or a no kind of question only. Then Kashmiri migrant, if you are, then you type in yes, otherwise you type on no. Then defense personnel, yes or no. Once you are done, uh, then you click on save and next. Now, this was with respect to your application form with the initial uh, few data. Then you move on to the qualification details. Okay, qualification details may you have to put in your passing status. Let's say uh, your highest uh, qualification till now is bachelor's degree. For example, you put in the year of passing. You uh, put either passed or still graduating or a graduate. That status you have to put in first then your passing year, then name of the university or institution. So, uh, if your university name is given, you choose that. Then what is your qualifying degree? So, you will get options like uh, PR, Fine Arts, etc. So, among that, you have to choose that. Then name of the college, institution, school or department. Then your result mode. Okay, then you choose, for example, you have chosen CGP over here or percentage over there. So, accordingly, you will have to fill details like CGPA maximum point scale. So, is it out of 5? Is it out of 10? Like that, you will have to choose from the drop down menu. Then obtained CGPA. So, let's say you got 7.5 out of 10. So, you put 7.5 over here. Okay, then equivalent percentage converts CGPA to equivalent percentage. So, in your uh, university details, your conversion will be given, okay? If in case it is not given, you can multiply your CGPA by 9.5. But in most of the cases in your university, this conversion will definitely be given. So, you'll have to check that first. Next, uh, that was with respect to the qualification details. Next, you have to fill in your competitive exam details. For example, you have given gate examination in 2025. So, you fill the registration number, the score, the exam paper, code, uh, the category-wise cutoff marks and your marks out of 100. Let's say you have also given in 2024 or 2023 the gate examination. Then again, you will have to put in the uh, details over here. Note that it is not compulsory for you to give gate examination for SPA admissions. So, you can leave it blank and then move ahead in case you have not given uh, any of the competitive examination. So, UGC net is also like valid over here. If you've given that, you can, uh, you know, give the details of that. Then, seed examination details can also be valid over here. Okay. Then, once you're done with everything, you click on save and next. Now, the next category is experience details. So, if you have any experience, experience you click on yes from the uh, drop down menu. Now, Note that only full-time experience will be counted over here and internships will not be counted, okay? So, uh, it is given over here. Do not include internship details in the experience. Please mention the full-time work experience gained after passing of qualifying examination degree. So, first, no internship. Second, no part-time uh, engagement is also counted as experience over here. So, if in case uh, you do not have any experience, you can click on no and then move ahead or you click on yes and move ahead. But if let's say you have clicked on yes, what comes over here is name of the last or the current organization and address the post you have hold over there, maybe architect, assistant, architect, whatever. Then work experience from and work experience to. You have to fill this. Let's say you worked in more than one firms or company. What you have to do is click on add row over here. Okay? Once you are done filling out all the details of all the experience that you have, click on save and next. Okay. So let's say if you have added the row, a similar exactly uh, same 
row will be added over here. So you can add multiple experience details here. Once you are done with that, you click on save and next. Now, your contact details are asked over here. You've already given your number and email ID. Here, your correspondence address is being asked. So you fill in the village name or the premises name the sub locality name or the police station this is optional then locality town village etc the country uh, the state district pin code and isd code that we've already seen for india it is 91 and alternate mobile number this is also optional if you want to give an alternate number you can okay then alternate email id if you want to give you can give it at this stage the primary one has to be what you've used in the application okay during the registration in the first uh, form that is registration form okay now if your permanent address and your correspondent address is the same you just tick on this and move ahead otherwise you give similar details for your permanent address as well and then save and next click on this now the next set of details asked is upload document uh, or images. Now look at this very carefully and make sure you, uh, you know, write it down right away or you take a snap of this particular screen that you are able to see and make sure that before, uh, you know, you start registering, you have all this data with you in the document specif specification given over here. This is very important. Okay. So the first one is photograph. The minimum size is 20 and maximum size is 300 KB. You have to give a JPG file for your photograph. Next, you can either give a birth certificate or a class 10th certificate. It has to be in the PDF format and the uh, minimum size is 50, maximum is 300 KB. Okay. Uh, similarly, you have to give your qualifying degree certificate between 50 to 300 KB in the PDF format. Mark sheets of all semesters of qualifying degree. Again, this has to be between 50 to 300. Now, let's say uh, you have images of 10 semester, okay, 10 images you have. One problem that, uh, you know, many people are facing is you are not able to compress it well within 300 KB. So, what you have to do is uh, before combining all the images into PDF, you compress your images first, okay? If you go ahead and compress your PDF later on, you are for, uh, facing some problem. This is what I have personally experienced and many of my friends have also experienced. So, see whatever works well for you. You either compress the images and, uh, you know, combine it together in the form of PDF or you select all the images and convert it into PDF and then try to compress the PDF. Depends on your uh, image quality. So, you'll have to check that and you'll have to make sure that it is well within 300. Okay, this is one thing that you have to keep in mind. Next, CD, CGPA to percentage conversion document as notified by your university or institution. Let's say with your degree or with your uh, uh, mark sheets, if you have any conversion that you've used in the uh, previous details also, you have to upload the, that document. If not, then you can skip it and directly uh, you can multiply it by 9.5. Then experience certificates, whatever you've noted in the experience uh, category earlier on in this experience details, for all of them, you'll have to produce certificates, okay? You can upload one, you can upload multiple, you can also combine all the certificates and upload just one PDF form. Next, permanent address proof, it could be Aadhaar card, it could be voter ID, passport or domicile certificate, anything will do. Again, this has to be between 50 to 300 KB. Once you are done uploading all of these, you can uh, click on submit and preview. Now, preview may you will get a uh, like on your screen, you will get all the information. For example, photograph, birth certificate, your mark sheets, etc. Everything will be visible. You'll have to scroll down and for each and every uh, document, you have to click on self verify. Okay. After you are done with this, then you will be able to click on, uh, uh, click for next. Okay. Now, uh, now you get a preview of every detail starting from the first one. That is application number, father name, gender, nationality, candidate name, mother name, date of birth, category. Your photograph will be over here. Then Every detail right from registration form till this stage, whatever you filled in, you will be uh, getting details of everything. Okay. 
if you see that everything is correct and you want to move ahead you click on save and final submit okay if at all you uh, feel that you have to change something or you noticed any uh, let's say error in that you have to click on previous you have to go back you have to correct all the errors then uh, you have to repeat the entire procedure by save and next etc come to this stage again and then you click on the declaration which says i have by declared that all the particulars given by me uh, in this form are true okay next what you have to do is there'll be a pop up of confirmation okay the credentials will be used for seat allotment so kindly verify all the details at this stage also if you think that you want to recheck anything uh, in this you can click on no go back check everything and come again to this particular stage or if you are confident that everything is correct till now you click on yes and then move ahead this is the end of your registration okay your registration form is complete application form qualification details competitive details with respect to ugc or seed or gate examination experience details contact detail wherein you've put on your address uploading of all the documents and images that is done and the final submit in the previous one you clicked on yes that was the final submit your application process is complete over here only what you have to do later on is pay registration fee this is not open yet uh, it is it will be open very very soon so what you can do is as soon as you get a notification or uh, you can check our youtube channel and our instagram channel we will update you over there once uh, you get that up updated uh, understanding of the date then you can come back here go to the first one wherein you put in your application number you put in your password you put in the security pin and then you click on next you will be redirected to the same page this page you will be redirected to and then you have to click on click on pay registration fee over here okay pay the fee and that's it you enroll yourself or you've registered yourself in the jaap pg admission kp classes dedicated to excellence.